Hello, my name is Parveen Sheikh. I'm a psychologist by profession and I'm the Vice President Operations at Empower, a mental health initiative by Aditya Birla Education Trust. So mental health as defined by the National Mental Health Policy says, a state of well-being where an individual can understand their abilities, they can do their work productively, they can manage with the normal stresses of life and they can also make a, you know, a, a commitment to society and work towards society and community. Now, when this, when this state of well-being is not present, okay, that's when we say that a person is not uh, being in uh, having good mental health. So, that when this mental health goes to workplace, if a person is not feeling a sense of well-being and when they go to their workplace and that affects their productivity that affects their that affects the way they are functioning what they are what is coming out of their jobs I mean, globally compared to other countries where we have the uk or we have the norwegian countries where there are very solid workplace policies and you know education policies on mental health in India, we do have the Mental Health Care Act, but it really needs work in terms of policies at workplace, policies at education setup. So that's happening right now. We, while we have understood and we are aware of mental health and its effect and impact, we really need to work on the intervention to prevent mental health to become a mental health illness. So as I was saying, uh, mental health is not mental illness. But when mental health is not taken care of, it will affect a person's productivity. So a study by WHO I, uh, said that India would lose $1.03 trillion dollars between 2012 and 2030 because of mental health issues. Can you imagine the effect it will have on our GDP? India being a young country, we have majority youth. The maximum working population is between 25 to 40. And if this population suffers mental health and we offer no prevention, Obviously, the productivity, the GDP, everything is going to get affected, and that's the biggest, uh, you know, we, the biggest flaw, the biggest uh, uh, result of not uh, taking care of mental health at the workplace. And one needs to focus on that. Currently, uh, we have a Mental Health Care Act, which is uh, which has certain guidelines for mental health care institutions and what needs, to, what are the rights of mental health patients. But we do need standard policies from the government for the corporates. However. Having said that, there is no standard policy. There are many, I'm very happy to say that there are many corporates who understand the need for mental health intervention in their organization and they have various, uh, various things which they do. The most common thing which people do during uh, for mental health is spread the awareness. Mental health is stigmatized, it's overlooked. So the, the anything which is done right now, what is commonly done with, with some corporates is where they, where they provide awareness about mental health. Many corporates also, you know, they uh, deploy a counselor, a psychologist at the workplace so that the people can go and take help from them. So in India generally it's either awareness webinars and seminars or providing a psychologist at the workplace uh, who can help the, the employees at the workplace. So that's what really happening in the country right now. So Empower is a mental health initiative under the Aditya Birla Education Trust and, the, and Empower's vision is a stigma free world where individuals with mental health concerns live with respect and dignity and lead productive lives. So to do to achieve this, we have various offerings. A is to destigmatize mental health. So we, we conduct a lot of awareness workshops, awareness events to spread mental health knowledge so people can understand and not stigmatize it. Secondly, we go to schools, colleges, we do a lot of outreach programs so that people in schools, colleges, communities, corporates know about mental health. Three, we train professionals on mental health. There are not many professionals in India. We need people to know and get trained in mental health so we can have many people helping other people. We have a 24-7 helpline and a chat service. And lastly, we provide multidisciplinary clinical services where we have centers which encompasses psychiatrists, psychologists, allied therapists and all these people together when you go to the center they screen an individual and they provide them the right intervention based on their condition. In fact we also have an empower center in Delhi and our whole aim is to give the right intervention the right clinical services to people with mental health concerns. So empower commissioned a mental health at the workplace survey through Ipsos which is a research organization. The objective of this survey was to find out how many people at the workplace, at corporate workplace are at risk for mental health. That's one. Second was 
in, the, in those people who are at, at risk, you know, what are the kind of issues they are facing and what do they think are causing those issues and what is their awareness on mental health. So we found out these studies which I am going to share in, uh, further. We went to 8 cities, uh, Delhi was one of them and 10 sectors across FMCG, e-commerce, hospitality, education and so on. And, we and that is how the survey found out statistics regarding every city, how corporate world, how corporate employees uh, at between the age of 30 and 60 in senior positions perceive mental health, what, what causes issues with them and what they think about mental health and awareness. So the Empower Mental Health at Workplace Survey has some very interesting findings. Some of the findings I would like to share with you. So firstly to find out 48% of the respondents who uh, were a part of our su subjects are at risk at mental health. So can you imagine one out of two people in the workplace are at risk for a mental health issue. Anxiety and depression as um, always are some of the highest uh, uh, you know uh, issues which they face in mental health. When you come to Delhi almost 48% corporate uh, Delhi feels that they are at risk of mental health. 93% uh, of the mental health issues with the field is caused by stress at the workplace. 85% is caused by stress at work. And that's what they are feeling. They feel the, the Delhi population, 85% young parents who are in corporate world feels that parenthood and juggling work-life balance is uh, causing a lot of mental health issues with them. 73% feel lack of motivation is causing mental health issues in them. And that's that again reflects to the productivity of that individual. So these are the very scary findings. 73% again feel that mental health issues and workplace life balance is causing them to have sexual health issues. Because they are so involved in their work, they are not able to you know, spend time in their personal lives. So that's again an alarming uh, uh, statistics. And 51% of Delhi's workplace comes from outside. So they feel alienated, they feel they don't fit into the culture and that again causes mental health issues. These are some of the statistics which we found in the Delhi survey. So one more interesting and unique thing about Delhi is 91% of people in Delhi feel that working from home, working remotely is causing stress. Which is because people nowadays prefer work from home but this statistic says a lot about the culture of work from home, how people when they are working from home get feel alienated, feel that they are not progressing. The good part is while 97% of the respondents said that they understand the importance of mental health and that's great because they are already aware that mental health is important for them and it, it is of great importance for their uh, mental health and their productivity. So the first battle of awareness is done. Now what we need to do is take actions for improving mental health at the workplace and mental health overall.